Cruising World, Mick the Suit Guy with you today. Whenever I wear this, it's a restaurant chat day. Got me cow going. <sighs> Anyways, yes, you may or may not have noticed, but recently Carnival secretly increased prices on some of their restaurants. I found out when my good friend Jim Bobo asked John Heald, is this true? And John's response was, yes, we don't always announce price increases like a lot of companies. We just put price increases out there. Make your own judgment on that statement. It was kind of like when we were on the Greenland cruise and he obviously was fed up with answering people's questions about Greenland and said, and I quote, I really don't care, so I'm not going to answer your question. Look it up. Exact words he used. Good for a brand ambassador to say that. Anyway, um, so what prices went up? Well, I went in and I looked and I checked. The biggest increase was 33%, which was Cucina del Capitano, which is currently on the Breeze, the Magic, the Vista, all the Vista class ships, the Sunshine class ships. So the Vista class ships are Horizon, uh, Panorama and Vista. Sunshine class ships, which is the Sunshine, the Sunrise, and the Radiance. And it's free on the XO class ships the first time, and then I think you pay $8 the second time. But on all of those ships, the price has gone up from $18 to $24. So that's a 33% increase. It's quite a large increase, don't you think? And also, it makes me sad to say this, GG's, which is available on all the Vista class ships, and the sunshine. Um, it's really annoying because I'm booked on the Vista and the sunshine. And if I'd known, I would have gone in. Like they normally give you a bit of advance notice. Like when the Wi-Fi price is going up, when the drink package price is going up, they'll say, get your orders in because on this day, the price is going to go up. They didn't do that this time. They just upped the price without giving you a heads up, which is, a, I'm not going to lie, a bit disappointing. Because you'll always see me in GG's on a cruise ship. You'll always see me in... It's an old song. A song about in the kitchen at parties. GG's on a... I've done, I've done the song before. Not going to do it again. But um, yeah, so they... I'm now going to have to pay $24 a person instead of 18 Which I would have done had I been given notice that the price was going up. So we'll leave that one alone. But yeah, so those two have gone up. So while I was there, I took a look at the other... Um, prices in the restaurants and I don't know when this happened but the steakhouse and this has gone up quite regularly over the last few years hasn't it um, which is on every ship except the Elation and Paradise same as an alchemy bar you know uh, is now $49 last I saw it was 48 I don't really eat in the steakhouse very much because they haven't changed that menu in forever so I'll pretty much do a specialty restaurant every cruise if they have one but the steakhouse is always my last choice just because they never changed the menu. Um, Rudy's Sea Grill is also now 48. And if I remember correctly, that was 42. So that I don't know when that went up, but it hasn't gone up to 49 yet. Who knows when it will. The El Vaggio on the Venezia and soon to be Firenze is at 42. I'm sure that will go up to 48 soon. Um, the Bonsai Teppanyaki is $35 for lunch and $38 for dinner. That is on the XL class ships, the Vista ships, and the uh, Firenze and um, Vene Venezia. So, um, chef's table. And this is a bit confusing. I looked at the chef's table, and if you go on Carnival's website, it says between 80 and $99. That's on carnival.com. So we're booked on the horizon. I went to look on the horizon to see what price it was in there, and it said $119. I looked at the Venezia, and it said 99 so I don't know with the chef's table I also noticed and this was I don't know if this is a glitch in their system but because I was trying to price out the different ships if they had different rates so we got so many bookings I was looking through them and on every cruise I have booked and I have a lot let's just say more than 10 the only restaurants I could book in advance were the steakhouse the um the um, Dr. Seuss breakfast and the Italian or Gigi's. They were the only ones. 
I couldn't book the bonsai teppanyaki on the horizon that I'm booked on. Um, oh, I can see your Vaggio on the uh, Venezia. Uh, the Rudy Seagrill, Seagrill was not showing. I'm going on Mardi Gras and also on um, Celebration, and it wasn't showing. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, it, whether it's a temporary glitch or, or what. But when I checked yesterday, none of those restaurants were available to book in advance. So, yeah, just check them. Um, the, I'll add something here you may not know that and I'll probably do a separate video on this because I'm going on the Mardi Gras soon and I'm going to do some videos but I don't know if you're aware that they have cooking classes on Panorama and the Mardi Gras celebration soon to be Jubilee ships but they've also added you can do a class and then have a dinner after one night not every night of the cruise but one night of the cruise a week we're going on the Mardi Gras uh, in December the 9th and uh which is around about when this video is going to come out because I pre-record them. And for 60, well, the cooking classes are 45. I think they've gone up because I remember last time I did and there were 30. So I think the cooking classes have gone up quite considerably. Now they're offering a cooking class with dinner afterwards of what you cooked for $65. So you do the whole cooking experience and then afterwards you go back into that main area and sit and eat what you cooked, but not what you cooked, the chefs prepare it differently. So this is what they used to do when they very first started doing the carnival kitchen. Because I remember we were on Panorama when it first came out and we would go do that. And we did a, a Tiger Indian one. They called it the Tiger Masala class. And we did a Latin one. And we sat and we did all that. And they had you taste all the food that you cooked. And by the time you finished, you were full. And then you went and sat down at the table and they bought you out an enormous amount of food. But because you'd just eaten so much that you'd done, you weren't that hungry. So they stopped doing that, and then it was just the cooking class, and then you left. Now they're offering this. So my point being, if you do do it with the dinner, taste what you cook a little bit. A little bit, because you are going to get a boatload of food afterwards. And they bought the Tiger Masala one back, I am pleased to announce. And we're also doing, a, I think we're doing an Asian one as well, which is very exciting, because I love Asian food. So uh, I'll be doing those two on the Mardi Gras. And then when I get back, I'll be doing a full video on the whole shebang and cooking classes and stuff like that on those ships. But yeah, and the Dr. Seuss breakfast is now $10. And we've only done it the one time a couple of years ago. And then it was six. So that's definitely gone up. So um, yeah, I don't know. So I'm, this is more of a heads up video than anything to, to let you know. I would anticipate if Carnival are just going to start increasing prices about letting you know, it's going to happen at any time. So if you know you do want to eat in any of these restaurants, the one takeaway I would give you from this video, book now to guarantee that lock in that price. Um, you can always cancel it near the time if you don't want to go. But um, yeah, book it now. And don't forget, you can use your onboard credit if you have any to do that now as well. So um if you cancel it, they just refund your onboard credit. So yeah, uh, prices going up and up. Everything's going up. I've no doubt drinks will start going up again soon. Yeah, to keep going the way they are, it'd be too expensive to cruise. Oh, we'll find a way, right? We'll find a way. Um, I want to give also a, a shout out if you ever want to do this. That, um, and I didn't know this, but Emerald's restaurants. They have them on the XL class ships, the Mardi Gras, the Celebration and the Jubilee are all named differently. And they have different menus on each one. The basics are the same, but they're definitely different on each one. So the one on Mardi Gras is called Bistro 1396. The one on Celebration is called Bistro 19, 1397. And the one on uh, Jubilee, can you guess what it's called? No, 717. Makes no sense. Is that an area code? I don't know. Why you would go 1396, then 1397, and then 717. Never understand people's logic. But yeah. So I just want to give you a heads up. Know that the cost of these restaurants has gone up. Be aware of that. And um, book in advance would be my advice. I wish I'd known and I would have booked more. Uh, I'm doing a 25-day cruise on a panorama. Luckily, I've already booked GG's three times. So I saved myself three times $36. It's quite, quite expensive. With that, if you'd like to subscribe to this little channel, I'll be, I can fill you up with little tidbits like this all the time. 
subscribe and click that little bell. You'll get notifications when my videos come out. I try to do three a week. Monday is tips day. Send me your tips and your cruising traditions. My email is coming up at the end of this video. I will read them out. I do not read them in advance. I copy paste them onto a Word document, print them out, and then I read them as I record them and I react as I read them. You have been warned, but I'm nice most of the time. Every Thursday, I put out a cabin video and every Saturday, I put out a video like this. So uh, that is my goal every week. So I'm here to help you. So if you do have questions, feel free to email me. The email is coming up at the end of this video. And with that, sad news, GG's, $24. I remember when it was 12 for what it's worth. The best, still the best value in the fleet. I love it. It will not stop me going, but maybe not quite so much. I will see you later, Cruising World. Any questions? Email me anytime. CruisingSuitGuy at gmail.com. I promise I'll reply as soon as possible. Want to book a cruise or any type of travel? We are travel agents. Check out our site, EliteTravelConnection.com or email me, Mick at EliteTravelConnection.com. We are here for you. Finally, subscribe, please. Pretty please. You know you want to. Go on. I won't beg you. Okay, I'm begging. Please. Subscribe! Thank you.